contrast shown in cloud. Um, in actual fact, he's not my horse. And Cloud's got a checkered past. He had quite a bad accident where a van overtook him in a flood. And like, you know, he's about 10 foot high the, the, through the spray up. It made him jump. He jumped sideways into a gate, caught his front wheel round the gate and threw the driver out. Tom, who owns him. And uh, he said, would you get him back in for me? Well, it had knocked his confidence terribly. You know, considerably bad. I never broke him in the first place. Or someone else has done it. But people say now he's a remarkable horse, he's wonderful. Um, which he is, you know, there's no two ways about it. He's a very nice horse. A good boy, he knows his job. But it's to overcome everything he's been through. Just imagine a van coming past, they estimated the speed about 20 miles an hour in a 6 inch deep where the road was flooded for 100 yards. He's come right over the top of the horses, or over the top of the cloud, I should say. He's, he's jumped off the road, nothing violent, but he's turned into a gateway going into a field and caught his front wheel on the gatepost which obviously has stopped the car and thrown Tom out and really hurt his shoulder there. So we retrained him and Tom still couldn't drive for a year, 18 months. So he said, keep him down there with you. And, you know, and we lost dear, dear old Rolo um, a while before that, so we turned him into a schoolmaster. So it's nice to know that even with that checkered past that he's had, and I know it's true what, because obviously I know Tom very well. He comes to visit him at, well, once a week normally. So it just shows you what can be done with horse with a bit of time and patience and schooling to build his confidence. For, for Cloud to have the confidence that he has, Someone else remarked when he was up alongside the stallion horse that his head's always turned inwards. Well, even now, can you see it's slightly turned inwards? He's always ready, always ready to lean his weight onto the pole to keep the offside horse going reasonably straight. Now, this is horse I own here, or we own the company owns the spray horse, lovely horse. And just with the pressures of work, we haven't been able to us. He's just come out of the field this morning at about nine o'clock. He was then shod along with others. He wasn't bad to shoe, but he's always been a bit fidgety. But he's only ever had one set of shoes before. I think that's right. Just one set of shoes before. Because all I've done was... Break, I broke him and drove him for a while in a pair. He's never been single, but he's just come out of the field and here we are, half past two-ish, and we're 100 yards from home. First time back in and he's been out of work for six, six to eight months, I think it was, so let's say seven months. Also, he's never seen another horse in that time. What I mean is, he's never had a, another horse's company. I haven't been turned out with anything. He's seen, seen, seen us go past with horses. And he was clad, you know, they were in a field together. So, you know, that was his mate was clad. But he's a lovely, lovely, big, powerful, strong horse. Um, and when we finished him, we're going to keep driving him now. He will be a, a, a good horse. The problem is, I wanted a match for him, and although we've looked now for about 18 months to try and find a match, you know, for this all, so I mean, not only the colour, but his sheer body weight, his bone, I mean, he's got his winter woolies on now, if you see him, you know, in a summer coat, he's a proper rifle, a nice treat. 
built real nice sorts, kind of, naturally kind, you know, that you can do that. So, when we put him in for them, well, it, I suppose he was in, it's very hard to remember exactly, maybe 10 times that we put him in, in amongst doing other horses, which was a silly thing to do, really. But I wanted to get him in, when he's five year old now. lovely horse and he's only got a soft rubber bit in after all that time you can see he's in good condition he's been fed while he's been out um, while he's been out you now just on, on grass he's still had ailers and a short feed every day which I think personally that's the, that's the best thing so they come back in um, you know reasonably up together I mean they do the wash definitely do with the wash, he's a bit grubby to say the least. So there you go, there's a story about Cloud really. As I say, he had a lot of trauma and that upset this, this old Cloud, it upset him a lot. And it was very old, or not very old, it took a lot of patience and a lot of time to get him back to believe in himself, to get his self-confidence back. Once we started to get that, then we started putting horses up alongside him and he'd never been in a pair in his life. And for the last, I don't know, four years, he's been been with us, and he's been the schoolmaster, the famous cloud. And this is his silver lining next to him. <laughs> cloud and his silver lining. But yeah, it's just nice. I thought you'd be interested in that, dear old cloud. You never think it. He was nervous badly nervous when he came to us. You know, anything like a and it was a little van that done it, it was actually a post office van. Um, but you know he's come round, it just takes it took some time, it didn't happen overnight. It definitely took some time. But he's come along he's come along, you know, really nice. You see this horse he's never seen I've never been out on the road as a say for about seven months, I think around about seven months anyway. And he won't bother about traffic or anything, he'll have a little look, but then he's entitled to him having that time up. And he'll have all this in a day back into work. We'll just go around to get some milk, so we can have a nice cup of coffee when we get back. Anyway, I thought you'd like to know about dear old Cloud and his bit of history. But he's a lovely boy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on baby, come on baby, come on, let me see Cloud, see Cloud do his, come on Cloud, see Cloud do his thing there, and that horse is a lot bigger than Cloud, and it's nice that that happened, now this horse, called Finn, this grey horse, he, uh, if that lorry had kept moving, he wouldn't bother, he wouldn't have bothered, just he stopped, made him look twice, you know, Otherwise he'd have gone past. But you see Cloud immediately without me telling him. I used to say to him, you know, okay Cloud, hold him up and he would be straight on the pole. But you can see there yourself, you don't push him over, you just hold him there and reassures him. I think he's something like maybe. Maybe, I think he's something like you're going into haunted house, you hold onto someone's shoulder or their arm. <laughs> you know, even two big brave men, you know, would do that. They were frightened to say they'd grab over somebody, wouldn't they? Like your child. So that was nice to see if you see them. There's no point in shouting and screaming at him, is it? Just go on my baby, a little bit of encouragement, and away he goes. So there you are. Cloud and Finn. And every cloud's got a silver lining. 